It's easy to create links to Purple Mash and create assignments using Purple Mash activities in Google Classroom. To start with, you might simply share the link to your school's Purple Mash portal here. Simply enter the title and any information you'd like to share alongside it, and paste the link to your Purple Mash homepage. When you click on the link, you'll notice a handy Google login button on your Purple Mash homepage. Contact us to get it switched on if you don't see it. It will log you straight into Purple Mash with no need for an extra set of login credentials. I'm now logged into Google Classroom as a pupil, Jacob Green. When pupils see the link you have shared, they can click on it and then click on the Google login button to log into Purple Mash. From here, they'll be able to access all of the resources and any to-dos you have set them. I'm now logged back into Google Classroom and Purple Mash as the teacher. If you'd like, you can create a link that directs pupils straight to the to-dos you have set them in Purple Mash. Simply click to make a post and then copy the URL for the Purple Mash to-dos page into the links box. You can add in any detail or description you'd like when you make the post. I'm now logged back in as Jacob, and when I click on the link and click on the Google Login button, I'm taken straight to my to-dos. From here, I can simply press Start and complete the activity. Now logged back in as a teacher, we'll have a look at how to create an assignment in Google Classroom using a particular activity in Purple Mash. First, you need to find the activity you'd like to set. When you click on it, you'll see a Share to Classroom button and this will bring up a dialog box that you can fill in to set the activity. In here, you can choose the class you'd like to set it for, create an assignment and then fill in all the details you'd like to. From the pupil view of Google Classroom, pupils will see and can access their assignment. They can click on it, read the information you have added and click on the link to access it. They can then start and complete their work. When they finish, they can use the menu to access a share link to save that back to Google Classroom. They first save the file in their work area and then click on share. From here, they can select link and QR code and copy the link. Using the tabs, they can return to Google Classroom. They can add or create work by pasting the link they have just copied. Once it's saved, they can turn in the work. And as a teacher, you can select the assignment and then click on the child's work to view it. To make all of this work, you must make sure that the email addresses against your users in Purple Mash, pupils and staff, match the ones they use for their Google Classroom logins. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you have any further questions.